Welcome to Symantec's video tutorials for SSL certificates. Today we will be looking at how to install an SSL certificate for Apache servers. Before we get started, please note that you must be able to sudo as root or have root access to the server in order to perform these commands. Not having such access will result in a permissions denied error when running certain commands. In this example, I will sudo instead of logging in as root. If you log in as root, sudo does not have to be used in the beginning of these commands shown within this video. Let's begin first by obtaining all the necessary files needed for installation to the Apache server. The private key file is the essential key that decrypts the encrypted information sent to the server. Note that the private key file is not provided by Symantec. It is a file that was created during the CSR generation process and kept on the server at all times. Locate this private key file and ensure it is placed in the directory where you will hold all the certificate files on the server. In this example, I have already placed the private key file in the following directory. The intermediate CA certificates are certificates that establish the trust chain from the client's root certificate to the SSL certificate on the server. There are a couple of ways to obtain these intermediate certificates. They are available when you download the issued SSL certificate in your Trust Center account or from Symantec's knowledge base. In this example, I will be obtaining them from our knowledge base. From a web browser, go to symantec.com forward slash help. Click on the SSL certificates link. And from the search field, do a search for AR657. Here you will find charts for all of Symantec's intermediate CA certificates. Be sure to select appropriate intermediates by the correct algorithm. The account issued from. And the certificate type. Once found, Click the select link under the CA bundle for Apache server column. Here you will find the intermediate CA certificates bundled in its correct order and format. Copy and paste the text to a plain text editor document and save it with a .crt extension to the directory where you hold all the certificate files on the server. In this example, I am using VI. To save the edited document, first press the escape key on your keyboard, then type colon WQ to right quit out of VI. The SSL certificate can be obtained either from the approval email sent or you can log into the Semantic Trust Center account to download it. In this example, I will download it from the Trust Center account. From a web browser, go to semantic.com forward slash SSL. Off to the right menu, click My Account Sign In. Under the SSL Certificates column below Semantic Trust Center, click the Account Sign In button. Log in with your credentials. Select the issued SSL certificate from the list. Then scroll further down the page and under Available Actions, click Download Your Certificate. Click the Download Certificate button under Manual Installation. From the Format drop-down menu, ensure you select the X509 format, then locate the End Entity Certificate as this is the issued SSL certificate to be used. Copy and paste the text to a plain text editor document, and once more, save it with a .crt extension to the directory where all the certificate files are on the server.
Same as before, press the escape key and type colon WQ to save and quit out of VI. The Apache server's SSL configuration file must be updated to point to these certificate files now saved to your server. Before you begin this step, note that some instances of Apache may have multiple configuration files, but only one of these configuration files can be used for SSL. All other configuration files that have SSL directives must be commented out. Not doing so will result in a failure to restart the Apache server. Open your configuration file and locate the three SSL directives that needs updating. Please note that your configuration file being used for SSL may be a different file name. In this example, the httpd.conf file is being used. To move the cursor around in VI, use the keys H, J, K, and L to move the cursor left, down, up, and right. The first directive that needs to be updated is labeled SSL certificate file. For this directive, you want to enter the path to the SSL certificate file that you were approved and issued. In VI, place the cursor after this directive and press I on your keyboard to enter the insert mode in order to begin typing. Press the escape key to exit out of the insert mode and to be able to move the cursor again. Next is the SSL certificate key file directive. Here you want to enter the path to the private key file. As previously mentioned, the private key file would have been created during the CSR generation process. The last directive is the SSL certificate chain file. Note that some instances of Apache will not accept this directive and you may need to use the SSL CA certificate file directive instead. Update this directive with the intermediate CA certificate bundle that was previously obtained from the semantic knowledge base in this example. Once all three directives have been updated, save the configuration file by pressing the escape key and typing colon WQ again. Now that the configuration file has been updated to point to the corresponding certificate files, the Apache server would need to be restarted before SSL can be used. This completes the steps for installing a semantic SSL certificate for an Apache server. Thank you for watching Semantics tutorial videos. For further support and troubleshooting, please visit our support pages at semantic.com forward slash help.